Hi, I'm Ross from the Geo team, and today I'm going to give you a brief introduction to VBS Geo, the new terrain editor in VBS4. Here I am in the main menu of VBS4, and you can see I've already created some battle spaces in Fort Carson, Colorado. I'm going to select one of these and choose to open it in the Geo mode. The battle space will load and the Geo user interface will appear. At the top of the interface, you have the VBS4 toolbar, complete with a menu, tabs to switch to the other modes of prepare, and uh, drop down to change your camera to a mouse-based orbital camera, and various other options for starting preview and opening different panels. Moving down, you have the Geo toolbar that on the left side holds various creation modes like elevation, model, etc. And once selected, uh, on the right, you will see tools related to the creation mode. On the right side of the screen here, you have a context-sensitive option panel that it will control the tool that you have selected. These panels can be moved around and docked however you like. In the main area here in the center, you have where all of the action and editing will occur. And at the bottom, you have the status bar giving you helpful tips on how to use the tool selected and your UTM coordinate readout. I've already built up this area in Geo, and what I want to do is add on to it. I am going to open up this menu and open up the backdrop image panel for VBS Geo, and I'm going to turn on this image that I previously uploaded of this area. See the manual for details on how to add your own backdrop imagery. I've selected an area to model south of this site here. I'll get started by adding this road. I will select the road creation mode, the road placement tool, choose a road to place. I can modify the option of the road. And when I get close to an existing road, I can automatically snap and I'm just using my left mouse button to click along the road in the imagery to place a new road. I'll press enter to finish drawing the road, at which point I can come in here and edit the individual vertices as I see fit, and I can press enter again to complete that editing operation and draw new roads. Now I would like to add a berm around this lot here, so I switch to my elevation creation mode and select my elevation line tool, and I'm just going to once again click around with my left mouse button, press enter to complete the feature I've drawn, edit the options on the right however I like, and then I will apply this edit. Uh, you see I'm raising the terrain, an offset of one meter in this linear area I have selected. I'll turn off the imagery to give you a better look at this operation, and I'll apply. Now we see I have my nice berm. Next, I want to fill in this area with uh, this dirt texture you see. So I'll switch to my surface creation mode and select the area tool. I'll begin once again with my left mouse button, just clicking around to place an area, and I'll press enter when I'm done placing. Now on the right, I can select the kind of surface I'd like to fill in this area by using either the drop down or the surface selection eyedropper tool. I'll just click on the terrain to select the surface I want. It's barren area here, and I will apply. So now I've added this berm and this dirt lot within it. I'll go ahead and turn back on my imagery and begin modeling the lot on the other side of the street here. To do that, I will change to my model creation mode, and I'll do some point model placement. I can search in my model library for the model content that I like, select it, and then once I see it in view, I can hold my alt key, like my status bar tells me, rotate a model into place how I like, and I could also automatically flatten the terrain when placing this model, and I'll just click to place, and then I could subsequently click again to place another one in another location. I'm going to add the rest of this content, and we'll be back. Now that all of my point models have been placed, I want to proceed by placing a linear model around this area. I'll choose my 
line model tool and I will choose a style to place a fence and once again I'm just left clicking to draw this linear feature however I like can always hit control Z to undo an operation and I'll just press enter to complete and now I have effectively built up this area and I could go into more detail as much as I like uh, but I'll quickly show you what a simulation looks like here